Hey guys, Graham here from Streaming from Shiloh, bringing you uh, another riveting episode of Cyberdex Trial. Uh, we're doing part of my Dean Lister, or excuse me, Dean Bucket Lister project, which is basically where I am trying to play a bunch of cards before they rotate. And specifically today, uh, we're trying out my prepaid uh, Quetzal list. Um, so. Uh, we will see how that goes. Um, been having a lot of fun with it so far. Can't say it's good, but it, it feels like there's something there. You know what I mean? So with prepaid, uh, not only do we have all the, the prepaid friendly money cards like Sure Gamble, Lucky Find, Dirty Laundry, but we're also using that to give us discounts on cutlery. And then uh, we've got Eater and Keyhole and Wanton as our uh, primary uh, win conditions. So uh, we will see what happens. Now this is an Ag Infusion. I do like that I started with money, but I don't like that I didn't start with prepaid or film critic. Uh, or that I started with Immolation Script because that's kind of a later later game card. So we're going to mulligan. And that turned out. That turned out. Um, ooh, Medical Research Fundraiser. So I'm not going to have any trouble with money in this game. We're going to do a Sure Gamble. And then we're going to use this prepaid credit to draw. And, um, uh, ooh, cool post rotation deck I like that I like the sounds of that um, let's let's just throw it on this eater got a little safety net going I like it um, he doesn't have celebrity gift if he's doing a post rotation deck so that's one of the reasons why we're gonna uh, draw let's draw two cards and then let's expose this HQ ice it's a DNA tracker. Well, that's gross, and no one wants that. So then let's run on R&D. And the chances of it being another DNA tracker are relatively low. So hopefully hopefully that pans out for me. Yeah, it's the other DNA tracker. So that's super swell. I can break it for seven, four, five, six, seven, yeah. So let's just let it all fire. Uh, so he nicks the Deja, one of my wantons, and the other eater. Wasn't terrible. Definitely, definitely, definitely could have been worse. Um, see, so we're going to draw up here. And, um, you know what? I don't like being broke. I'll tell you that right now. Uh, next turn, I can credit, credit, lucky find. Um, because he can, uh, he clicked up for credit so he can res this DNA tracker over HQ now. So I think that's my best way to bounce back. Um,. Hmm. So unfortunately, I'm going to need to make him res the DNA tracker, break it for seven. Then I'm going to need to play spooned, and break it for another seven. So I'm going to, I'm going to need some money. And also something I can do is I can spoon the DNA tracker that's already resed. Then I can go in with an immolation script into archives if this other one's rest, and then trash the other one that's rest. But these DNA trackers are gross. They gross. All right, let's draw up. Ooh, let's see what we got. Oh, yeah. Got an E3. And an archives interface. So I think I'm gonna play the E3, take a credit, and ditch the MO script. Um, yeah. I'm 
But remember, part of the strategy of this deck is that I gotta break down this stupid uh, scoring remote. And he is rushing out now. So, let's draw. Yeah. Yeah. That's what I wanted. I needed that David action. Um, let's draw again. And I don't think I'm gonna. I, I'm not able to challenge this yet, which kind of sucks. So I'll put out this David. That'll be the Nisei, which I don't love seeing. I could Wanton right now. And if I do, he's going to send me into this DNA tracker. But then I'll be able to want in the next turn. So let's do that. And he'll, he'll probably send me over into the DNA tracker. Because he can't afford to res this. Oh, he doesn't care about anything that's in his hand. So that's cool. Um... Just get rid of all that. Just get 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 it gone. Hmm. I could do the same thing again. It'd be fun, right? Uh oh, but now he has enough money to res it. Straw? Straw? So we're going to archives interface, and we're going to dirty laundry on archives, and see if I can remove some cool stuff that I've been from his hand. He might send me into R and D, but now I can break R and D for a David counter and two credits, and that's super good. Um, yeah, that's exactly what he did. So I don't get to remove something from archives, but I do get to access a hedge fund. In exchange, I trashed some of his ice. Or he trashed some ice. He's gonna rush out here, yeah. Yep, 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 yep. Um Well, if he gets out another Nisei, I'm pretty much done for, so I have to challenge this. Uh but honestly this David is doing me a ton of work. Um oh, Excalibur. Break that for two. Ooh, wait. Ooh, wait. Um. Yeah. Uh, so here's that. Here's that situation where I have a lot of trouble challenging remotes. Um. Definitely don't have a good solution for Excalibur in this deck. Um, so now he's going to bounce me over to R&D. Or he could just end the run, actually. He could just use the one Nisei token to score out this Nisei. That might actually be better for him. Because... Wait, what? Oh, yeah. That's what he's doing. Alright, so let's draw up... Ooh, I like that. We're gonna uh, throw it on a film critic. And then I'm going to. Uh, I guess. I'm gonna gain three. Expose an ice. Coma Inu. Yeah, I can't really take that back. Uh. <laughs> oh, that's rough. That's real rough. Um, yeah, I couldn't take it back because I'd already seen the, the Koma Inu. So, what can you do? The answer is nothing. You can do nothing. Hey, let's see if I get a spoon. Just what the doctor ordered. Do, 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 do. Sp 
boon R and D. So now he's got an open R and D, which is great for me. But bad news is that he just needs to score a Nova Kana and then he'll be done. Oh, crazy and grid. Oh my god. Yeah, I need to trash the crazy and grid. Let's see what the next card is on R and D now that I've cleared it out. Macrofish. Alright, and then let's run archives and RFG something something. Yeah, what do we got? Alright, I got a Nisei. Oh, I got the last Nisei. That's great news. Um ooh, I should I get rid of Crick? Should I get rid of I'm not gonna get rid of DNA tracker. I might get rid of Crazy and Grid, actually. Um and then Still the Nisei, and he'll get no extra benefit from Cyberdex. Because I don't have no viruses. I ain't got no viruses. Um, he's at 8 credits, so he can res the DNA tracker. Which is okay, because I can use Immolation Script to get rid of it. Which is kind of a neat trick. Get rid of a DNA tracker with this one neat trick. Um, so the question is, am I going to force him to res the DNA tracker? He could also boot me over to the Excalibur, and then I can't make another run this turn. But then he's got an open HQ, um, which is pretty neat. Or do I set up here? I kind of... I think I'm going to force him to boot me so I can get rid of this ice. Because this other DNA tracker is the worst. I don't think he reses it here. Yeah. Um, I could pay two to be able to make another run this turn. Um, and then we'll run archives. And we're going to remove Und DNA Tracker. And now that we got an OBHQ, HQ, we're just going to run on that a couple times. Preemptive action. Yeah, see, he's gonna use preemptive next turn to get back some cool stuff. So, so, wolf. Don't don't you double advance that. Oh, you rat! You punk! Ah, he snuck it out. All right, well. What what do we do here? So it, see the thing is, I I think I lost. I think that's the thing here. Unless he happens to have the agendas in his hand, I could draw with inject, but I think I don't I don't see what I'm going to be drawing for except for more money, you know. Um, so, I mean, I, I basically lost this, so I'll just see what I can get. Um, uh, we'll do it for an HQ here. Um, and we're gonna check HQ again. If you use the Nisei token, this is definitely game. Cool. GG. Do you miss much? from the rotated cards. Def Celeb Gift. I 
or he could also have um, the current you have ELP can't even sweeps weak <laughs> Well, guys, thanks for uh, watching my game. Uh, obviously, kind of a bummer that I wasn't able to uh, pull out a win here. But, you know, this deck is clearly very weak to remote scoring strategies. So uh, maybe something we can, we can tweak. Anyway, uh, thanks for watching, and I'll catch you later on Cyberdex Trial.